from this PC Pro presentation. My name is Mitchell Preble and I'm an instructor here at PC Pro Schools. In this presentation we're going to take a look at a very important Microsoft management console, the device manager. What the device manager does for us on a Windows operating system is it gives us a display of every single currently installed hardware device on our computer. It can also give us at this moment in time a current device status, so tell us whether or not this device is functioning properly. We can launch some simple troubleshooters from Device Manager in order to fix some known and common issues. We can also obtain a list of the current driver version, update those drivers if we wish to, and roll back to a previous version of the drivers should the new updated driver cause our computer to have issues. We can also, on a per device basis, allocate system resources should we choose to. So as you can see, it's a very powerful Microsoft management tool. And if we know how to utilize this, we can effectively manage all the devices on our computer. So how is it we get to this device manager? There's actually three different ways I want to show you in order to launch the device manager in this Windows 7 operating system. So the first way I'm going to take you is I'm going to click on the start bar in the lower left-hand corner of my Windows 7 operating system in order to launch the start bar. I'm going to highlight computer on the right side of the start menu. And I'm just going to simply use the optional click button on my mouse. By default, that will be the right mouse button. Once I click that, this will launch a contextual drop down menu for me. The actual option I'm going to choose in this menu is going to be Manage. Now, if you notice, there is an administrative shield next to this, so you do need to be an administrator in order to launch Device Manager and make any changes to your system. Once I click on Manage, this will launch the Computer Management Console. On the left hand side of this Computer Management Console, there is a series of system tools. I'm just going to choose Device Manager, the very bottom one underneath System Tools. That will give me a complete listing on this computer of my devices. So that's the first way I can get to that. There's another way through the control panel we can launch this. If I simply just going to close that window, we will go back to the Windows 7 desktop. Lower left hand side, I'm going to start again by doing the Start menu. I'm going to choose Control Panel. Once my Control Panel launches, I'm currently in Category View. The category I want to select here is going to be System and Security. Once I'm in System and Security, I'm going to choose the System option, third from the top. And once I'm in this System property sheet, on the left hand side, we have Control Panel Home. And right below that is Device Manager. Simply clicking that link launches the exact same window we saw before. Notice this is a little less cluttered, it's just the Device Manager in its own window. A little bit cleaner of a display. So for the third and final way to get to this, we're going to use the run line in the Windows 7 operating system. I'm just going to close these two windows. The run line is actually built into the start bar in Windows 7. makes it very convenient for us to launch any application should we know the correct commands to do it. In order to do this, I'm simply going to click on the, low, the orb in the lower left of the start menu. And right here on the very bottom, we have our search bar. In order to launch Device Manager, I'm going to type in this command. D-E-V-M-G-M-T dot M-S-C. Once I type in that complete command, I should have a list of a program, list device manager. I can simply press the enter key at this point, and that launches the device manager for us. So there we go, three different ways in order to get to this device manager. Once you're here, a very quick, easy way to find out more information about what you can do with device manager, uh, how you can make the most of this utility. Simply press the F1, the function one key on your keyboard, that launched the built-in Windows help. You can find help on just about every aspect of Microsoft Windows 7 operating system simply by pressing F1. My name is Mitchell Preble. Thank you for joining us for this PC Pro Schools presentation.